It's week 11 of the National Football League. And here's the pick artist himself, Trayvon Diggs, who's been stepping up to challenges all season, now at eight interceptions. It's the Cowboys and the Commanders, and it's kicking off next on Match NFL 23. Just a gorgeous afternoon in the heart of Texas. No weather to speak of. Sun out, roof open. Yes, yes, and yes. A great day for football at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today we've got an interesting Week 11 matchup on tap between the Washington Commanders and the Dallas Cowboys. Hello again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon, joined as always by Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Cowboy team entering play. They've been playing well, really well. Winners of five of their last seven, but losers last time out. Meanwhile, for visiting Washington, they too come in off the bye. So we should have two teams that are eager to get back at it. And players are creatures of habit. You can bet they enjoyed the time off, but you know they're also ready to get right back into the swing of things. season has hit high gear and off we go in week 11 on EA Sports and this will not be returnable it's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback here are the commanders for their first drive of the game and a look here now at their fourth year quarterback you talk about the pause that refreshes I think it's come at a perfect time of the year for them, hasn't it? You know, they, the season is starting to wind down, got a little bit of a break. But how about the guy calling the signals? He's got to be excited about that because now he didn't just get a game plan for one week. He's able to work on it for two weeks. I can't wait to see if they have anything special in, in store for him today. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He'll dump that off to Gibson complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down, really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yarded. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Throw over the middle, taken in. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. That's out to the flat for Gibson. Well, he's taken down, but not before picking up the first thanks to a flashy little spin move. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Well, we know he can run the football, too, but... He's a good pass catcher. That's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers, working on routes, working on cuts, in order to make himself a more complete running back and even more of a threat downfield. Brennan in with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They'll look to throw here. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Not the opening possession they were looking for, especially on the road. No doubt about it, because they wanted to come out and establish a little momentum right away. But now bringing up a fourth down, an empty possession, not what they were seeking. And now a low liner, I think he mishit him. A special teams mistake there, no doubt. Just 26 yards officially on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. And they'll be led out by their third-year quarterback. 
So no advantage in this game for either quarterback in terms of coming off that open week, huh? Yeah, they both had by. Both had them, so you got to figure both of them went back, watched some extra tape, polished up their game, checked out their fundamentals. But they also have both had an extra week to prepare for each other's defenses. This could be a whole lot of fun. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Here's a second and seven. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Now this Washington defense, Charles, terrific in the victory a week ago. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down, and they're playing with extreme confidence. And he comes back with one complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The Cowboys hit six and three on the year. And they come in off the extended break from the bye. And I think it was much needed as well because you play two, two and a half months. You know you're ready for some time off in order to get prepared for the home stretch. In fact, when they looked at the schedule to start the season, I think they liked where their open week fell. Ready. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Second and nine. Looking to throw. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And this is caught inside the five. Touchdown. A big play there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Cowboys are on the board first here this afternoon. And that there, that was just a fly route. There was no stop. He just went. Yeah, and it's beautiful to watch because you have to set it up as you go along. Everyone knows he's fast, so you play him for that. That's the number one thing you want to take away. But as you go through a game, sometimes you vary the speed in which you come off the line of scrimmage and maybe start a little bit slower, get him to stop his speed a little bit as a defensive back, and then explode and go, as we saw there. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And they were winners the last time they took the field, which was two weeks ago. They had the open week last week, so this is a squad that should be really refreshed and ready to roll. I would agree. Be oh, wide open, complete. Touchdown, Washington. Jahan Jackson. 75 yards and the commanders are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six well, i don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy whatever word you want to use in that and one play 75 yards in zone yeah efficient tidy excellent words how about explosive 75 yards one play that means everyone handled their assignment doesn't it doesn't just mean that the defense broke down they really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. Coming off every player's friend, the open week from last weekend. Oh, there's no doubt about that. Even if you're coming off of a loss as they did, the open week is exactly what you need after you kind of get over it a little bit, right? Rest up the mind, rest up the body, get yourself ready to go. And they have to be eager to play again, especially since they lost the last time out. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Six DBs on the field for Washington on third down. They'll set up a throw. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open Ready. areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. Gonna throw right side here, complete. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. A good pick up there, 26 yards. 
But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll look to throw again. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. Let's go now. Go on set, go set. Now to Mechie on the jet sweep. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignment and finish off that play. Holding offense. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. He'll drop to throw. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That could have been a huge play, but give the defender credit. Stayed calm, stayed collected, and kept himself in a position to make a play on the ball without a penalty. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Sly able to put this one through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks to tell you let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Another drive coming up to this Washington offense. Offense running back out here, and you remember last drive was pretty quick, about 10 seconds, Charles. One play, very long pass play that ended in the end zone. And you know every offensive unit, when that happens, they want to come running back out and recreate it. We know the chances of that are slim because now the defense is on high alert. But at the same time, that confidence should carry over into the start of their next drive. On second down, here's Gibson again. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards to loss, and now third and 12. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot, and that separate the receiver from the ball. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. It'll be called just a 22-yard punt, certainly not what he wanted. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they, if you just look at this game, Charles, on paper, they've got the edge, no doubt. They're hanging around the top of the NFC. On the other side, you've got a squad that's towards the bottom of the NFC. But when we mentioned that to the coaches, they were having no part of it. Yeah, and I like how you said when we mentioned it. In fact, I mentioned it, and I upset them a little bit, didn't I? Because they wanted no part of that one, and I was reminded, like a five-year-old, this is the NFL. Hey! Any given Sunday, anything can happen. They are guarding against the upset. 
On first down, he'll drop to throw. Steps away to his left. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tap is made at Washington's 13-yard line. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. A great effort there with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And they're able to add on to their advantage. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice try and help themselves out. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. After 1-17-7 the score. Audi A Sports. And Washington with the football here to begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. Back to throw here. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Micah Parsons. That is what he will remember. A sack number 85 of his great career. Moving him past Hall of Famer Howie Long on the all-time list. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage. But right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward, and how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Well, we may not see it behind the big play sheet that they like to use, but I bet there's a big grin on the defensive coordinator's face. A corner blitz, what we often call a cat blitz. Usually they disguise it, Brandon. You're up on a receiver. It looks like you're going to bump and run over them, press coverage, and then he just takes off straight for the quarterback and someone comes behind him to pick up the receiver. And as a former member of the secondary, it makes you happy too, doesn't it? I can't, I can't lie about it. I've got a big grin on my face too. That was a heck of a play, a heck of a call. Here's second and eight. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Back to throw again. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. 
Ryan! Unlock Ryan! Hurry, hurry! Go! On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A great play there with his ninth rushing touchdown on the year. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. And they were looking to pick up the first down on third and short. They got a little more than they bargained for, finding the end zone as well. And oftentimes in short yarding situations, you get a lot of defenders stacked near the line of scrimmage partners. So if you can get past that first wave, there's usually room to roll. And he found it. An extra point by Sly is up and good. And that will make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Taken in at the three. And he returns this to the 22. Washington ready to try again on offense. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points to Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units. And they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. On play action, they'll throw. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. This offense so far on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and seven. They'll look to throw. Looking deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Washington going to send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36 yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 36 yard line. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. They're going to look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. When you're dead last in the NFL in third down conversions, the odds are against you every time you face it. How about him picking up that one? That was big for them. They'll look to throw here on first down. Flush to his right. He gets this one to Mechie. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Call that a very strong gain of 24. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. A quick throw to the left flat, and he's got it. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. So the completion good for six yards, and that will bring up second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball. And he fires one that's intercepted. And the Commanders will take over here at their own 14 yard line. He's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness, 
It's been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that, but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Now back to throw. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Micah Parsons in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. So that time, Charles, a uh, quarterback helpless really in the pocket in the face of a pass rush like that. They were on him instantly. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Out of the gun now on third down. And that'll be complete to the running back, Gibson. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. Washington going to send out their punter, standing right on his own five-yard line. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Cowboys are about set to take over on offense. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the play did on the last one. Ready, go! Yeah. They'll look to throw now on first down. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll set up to throw. Going left side, it's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 28. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on. Because right now, he's got the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what type of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? Call it a gain of six on the play. And it'll be second down. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. And this is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. From the 21, it's second and 10. They'll drop to throw. And incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. So been able to connect, so the play results in no game. On third down, here's Gibson. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Washington going to send out their punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. 
They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. It's a gain of 34. What a first half this has been offensively. I mean, defensively, what do you do when you're getting torched like this? So these receivers are actually wearing them out. So two thoughts come to mind. One, get some oxygen to fill up your lungs a little bit. And number two, talk to your guys up front. You need a pass rush to help slow them down. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. He'll look to throw. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. A great effort there, 26 yards, and the Cowboys are able to add on to their first half lead. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there, unable to do so. That makes their comeback holds that much more difficult. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and the round is on here in this first half. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Fielded just outside the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Washington going to go on offense now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Back to throw now on first down. That's out to the flat for Gibson. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. It'll go down as a gain of six. And that's going to bring up second down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. But Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. To Crowder, and he's got it on the crossing route. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 44-yard line. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. The NFL season is going to be about two-thirds complete after this weekend. So lots to get to as we check out what's going on here in Week 11. We'll begin up at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. And in the second quarter, it is the Eagles who are out in front. The Eagles trying to hold on and claim victory. From there, we're off to Tennessee to check on the Titans at home in Nashville. And you can see they trail in that matchup against the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Steelers seem to be on their way to what would be a good victory. Lastly, we head to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough to check on the Patriots and they trail the visiting Chicago Bears. Quarterback Justin Fields with three touchdown passes. On now to a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for Washington. And despite the fact that they're looking up at a double-digit deficit at halftime, they were able to move the football through the air in those first two quarters. 
Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, they were even better throwing the football. Lots of open receivers to choose from, and you can bet that'll continue to be a focus in the second half. Final adjustments being made for the second half. Whether they'll amount to much in a game that's already pretty well decided, well, that's another question. Nevertheless, let's get you back out to Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, thanks. Yeah, that's something to consider. Are we in for more one-way traffic here in the second half? It has not been a competitive game to this point. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense oh first God. here in this third quarter. So good starting field let's position go, for go, him go. here as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. A good start to the drive here as that's caught out on the left side. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. Wide open receiver complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 26. A good pick up there of 20 yards. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. From the gun, they'll try to run it. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. An extra man in the secondary for Washington on third down. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. Wow, that qualifies as a bad miss because anything inside of 40 should be automatic. That's a big mistake right there. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Target is to Johnson, and he's got him. And they work this well upfield across the 45. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Here's Gibson on the read option. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Here's second and eight. He's got a man complete. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the ten. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and ten. Gibson here running out of the gun. They'll get this down inside the ten for a pickup of about three. It's second and seven from the nine. Once more, Gibson. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. We're in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the commanders get a bit closer. So a very important first drive of the third quarter, Charles, and safe to say, a much-needed touchdown. Which leads to the question, what was this in the first half? Because if they'd had a few more drives like that, 
it wouldn't be in this situation. But that is the kind of drive that sends a message to the other side. We're going to be here, and we're going to battle you to the end. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. Very short kick taken right at the 20. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And they have to feel like they missed on an opportunity for points last time when they couldn't connect on that short field goal try. And no doubt about it, because they were counting on those points. In today's NFL, let's face that's really a chip shot, right? That's anything inside 40. Yeah, they, they're counting on that going through the post. But we've seen it happen to teams before. Some of the best kickers in the world can miss kicks like that. Can they come back now and redeem themselves? You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make the play on the football. And running on first down is Cook, but he didn't find much there. Call it a gain of three, second down. Hands it off out of the gun. And he's going to be stopped close to the first down marker at Washington's 12-yard line. 37. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. Got a man. That's complete. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Sometimes it's designed, but sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. Yeah, so from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. John Mechie from 17 yards out as his guys were able to push that lead out a bit further so another touchdown there and even though we're still just here in the third quarter kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead and this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now you name it they're able to do it if you're the play caller whatever you want to select is there you want to run it you want to throw it pick a play any play they're rocking and rolling right now Joey slide out to kick off after the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Jahan Dotson, the commander, set to take over. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards, but... Hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. But feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. On second down, here's Gibson again. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. You got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Back to throw. Able to connect with Dotson. On the move past the 40. Still going inside the 20. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. We know he's good at catching the football, but then after the catch, he's got escapability. Not only that, he's got some toughness as well, because you know he's coached very hard to make sure he battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with, but don't fuck the football. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. He'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. Second and six. Looking sideline incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Rosas 
Sauce kick is good. And they're back within three scores as it's now a 22-point game. So the three points there, and CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. And not much on this one. Takes it from the 21. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And of course, the guy throwing them, he's a big-time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. Here's a second and seven. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete. Certainly what they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Sly able to put this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. But for almost eight years, 64 stood as the NFL record for the longest field goal. That has since been eclipsed. It's now 66, but still 64 yarder, pretty impressive CD. Absolutely agree with that because if you drill a 60 yarder in an NFL game, You've got a lot to be proud of, record or no record. And only a handful of guys can even attempt it. Excellent job there, putting that one through the pipes. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. They'll start on the ground with Gibson. Good footwork at the 30. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. They'll look to throw now on first down. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for naught. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. That's complete to Slayton. A gain of eight there on the play, and it'll leave him with third and a full yard to go. On play action, they'll throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. But now Dallas gets set to take the field. And this crowd has certainly liked what they've seen. Their guys fully expected to win this one coming in, and they have not disappointed as they've got the big lead here in the fourth. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. Well, sometimes it's hard to take your eyes off this guy at the linebacker position. He can really cover some ground, and he did there to make that play. And so much of being a good tackler is understanding and taking the right angles to a ball carrier. 
And that was just tremendous straight line speed there. He eliminated the angles and was able to meet his man behind the line of scrimmage. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the run zone before going out. 23 yards on the tuck and run. At this point, this offense feels like they could just roll out anything, and it would work. They are certainly in no hurry for this one to end. Not when they can rack up some stats and continue to add to their lead. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. From the corner, it was Kendall Fuller with a sack. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. The offense on third down, five out of nine thus far. This will be third and 19. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Looking left side and it's complete. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. Carter, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. Let's go now! Looking to throw. He'll buy some time right. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. He'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Bradley Chubb, a sensational effort by him, and that is one of the biggest losses you'll ever see on a sack. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack, but he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football, had to eat it, and ended up on the ground. Come on, come on. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. He'll look to throw. On the under pressure again, and down he goes again. A very costly sack there on third and goal. Pushes him back big time. And now you figure the field goal team coming on on fourth. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of legs behind it, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, the only silver lining on the other sideline CD is that they kept him out of the end zone, but still, that's another three points added on to this large lead. He had no shortage of scoring or big plays on defense in this one. And even up by four possessions, still finding ways to create opportunities and capitalize with points. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And here we go on the next drive for Washington. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Now back to throw. Throwing the out route and Crowder makes the catch. Five yards, now it's third and five. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Demarcus Lawrence in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. Well, Parker, you and I will be headed to the airport, but after this game, when it's interview time, someone's going to ask this quarterback what hurt worse, the interceptions or the sacks. This whole day, it's been rough. Barring a miraculous comeback, this offense isn't going to win this game, but he's probably going to say what hurt most is the loss. Following the punt return here, there's someone shaken up. 
The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Back to throw now on second and 10. Sliding out of the pocket. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Chase Young in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Well, CD, a little bit of feast or famine for him. He's had some success throwing the football, but also now he's been sacked four times. Yeah, you just mentioned the four sacks, but you're right. He has managed to hang in there and make plays at times. His offensive line, they've got to figure it out and pick things up and give him more opportunities. And he has to help them by getting rid of the ball a little bit quicker as well. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Here's Johnny Hacker now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and taken. No return, but it goes down as just a punt of 31 yards. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. He'll drop to throw. Flushed out right. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, I kind of got to give him credit. Another incompletion there, yes, but he's still trying to make plays outside the pocket. Yeah, he's been hemmed in for much of the game. How about him getting outside there? And that's what you want to see from your quarterback. He's not giving up on this game. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Pat Sertan. And the Cowboys are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. Well, you think about it, though, that interception, great for his stats, but bad for field position. It was fourth down. Yeah, terrific observation. If there is going to be a silver lining, and this is what he'll plead when it comes time to watch it again, hey, it was just like a punt, right? So we end up taking possession of the ball. But you're exactly right about it. Should have slapped it down. Field position would be better for his offense. But how many times do you get a chance to make an interception that you turn it down? That's when your instinct kicks in and you take the football. In this case, a better decision would have been to knock the ball down. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And then when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. That one goes for 24 yards. Partner, I know we're still in the afternoon slate here. Some primetime games still on the docket, but it's going to be tough to top this effort. What an offensive performance we have seen. They have been unstoppable from the moment we began this game, and they're not holding back. They're still throwing the football here in the fourth. They certainly are, and let me tell you something. If you're old school, you don't like this at all, but in today's football, you just go ahead and savor it. Watch a team execute at a high level. Doesn't matter what the scoreboard says. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. He'll look to throw. Into the hands of Williams across the formation. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now, there's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously. Here in the fourth quarter, they could coast to the end, but right now they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And, partner, why would they? Because... Who knows the next time you'll be playing as well as you have today. When you're in that zone, you go ahead and take... And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. So it's a pretty good season he's putting together running the football. That now 10 rushing touchdowns on the year. But we know this is a passing league and those numbers throwing the football, 
They seem to go up and up every year. But there's still something to have a reliable back you can count on in the red zone to bring things home for you. And that's what he's been doing all season long. An extra point by Sly has up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Fielded just outside the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get any better from there. And trailing big here in this fourth quarter. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. On the catch, it's Crowder. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They're going to look to throw. Able to locate his man Slayton on an out route. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Caught out right by Renfro. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And when you break it down, you know, this was just a thoroughly dominating performance. And I truly thought that we'd have a tight game coming into this one. I think you felt the same way yeah. based on our conversation after the production meeting. But obviously not the case. And how about just how it broke open? You know, you just all of a sudden, whoosh, there it is. This thing is pretty much done. And the crowd stayed with it to celebrate because they're like, let's enjoy watching our team play this well. This is fun. So for Dallas, they keep pace for a playoff spot as they move to 7-3. And, and they'll get to stay home again next week as the Tennessee Titans come to town. Meanwhile, for Washington, it was a game they really needed as they dropped back to 4-6. And, and they'll try to turn things around next week as they have a matchup in New Orleans against the Saints.